So, this clock, watch doesn't seem yeah, to you have to wind it when it says it's not working. So, you wind the watch. 9.32. We're waiting for uh, the door. There we go. Because we've already gotten most of our inventory, so we got the package. Bert picked this broken shard from your mirror and forgot to leave it for you. Acme Movers. So when you get that piece of that mirror in, you can go into the dark world at this point. And if you don't have the gloves, you're going to die. But there are other things we need for the dark world. We actually need a stick. <laughs> it's kind of amazing what you need to make this really work. But And that mirror, just, just looking at it, it, it fills me with such happiness. I mean, it's such a positive mirror with a skull on the top. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Here we go. You ever seen Prince of Darkness? That's a great movie, by the way, An but that's what that reminds me of. An glow emanates from the chamber. Strange machines provide energy, nourishing the creatures cocooned in their sacks. Yeah, so that's like cocooned things there, getting nourishment. Mm-mm. H.R. Geiger, that man, he, uh, he had something. So here's where our library would be, and as you can see, that door is now open, and that is only open because we did it in the other world. <laughs> you see the design room where many evil things have been masterminded. How do you know, Mike? Yeah, it's These a holographic like projection. Plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human. That's correct. And you can see Dawson there, so yeah. I don't know how they got that in. I guess he's like eating our brain and that's how that's working, but uh, I guess. Where did my brain go? Maybe that's why I have to suddenly fall asleep at 10 There's a ramp that leads to a raised platform. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. Zoop. Yeah, so there's a teleporter. I feel like a cold wind just ran through my bones. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. My teeth are on edge. We need those binoculars that are just laying there. There's a pair of binoculars. Has someone been here before me? <laughs> doink! I just love that, that sound effect for picking stuff up. It's like, boink! Yes, yeah, so you can get a alien landscape close up there. H.R. Geiger did he did do a great job. It's some Geiger Geiger whatever. Look like but I mean, you know, if you don't know who that is, he made the alien, <laughs> the xenomorph. The guy definitely had some disturbed things he made. A lot of stuff with like sexual organs. He really liked that. Now if you try to pull that lever without your gloves, it electrocutes you and you die. And game over. I still, I, was like, I still like when he says, how many evil work, many evil plans have been done. Yeah, how do you know that, Mike? I mean, I said that, but it's like, really. 
This is the outside. So now we're in the visit. outside. Like you can see where the garage it was, me and it's a big spaceship. Own house. And it's currently These not working. Images of this alien forest remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. And I'll give this. I'll oh give the game God, credit. This is very creepy. Not to go in there. However, nothing ventured. It smells like a hospital waiting room here. Perhaps it would be safer to return home now. And then we got the shovel that we need to rob graves. That's the big thing that you need at this point. Because we still can't go fully in here because we don't have everything we need. We have to meet Delbert first. Obviously engineered by creatures with a bizarre and cruel sense of humor. So we're kind of just going back at this point. about to do the police don't like you anymore so and also it, it's made clear that the that someone's controlling the police from the ancients so here we go we got to go dig up the grave Yeah, so here we go. We're gonna dig up this grave, which, you know, obviously probably shouldn't be digging people's graves up, but we need parts of this. It's diaries. It's my en enemies that under underestimate how strong events in this world affect things and the other. I've kept them returning from home by destroying his car, because his car is able to be part of their spaceship. So when you fix the car, they can escape. But there's things we have to do before that can happen. So we're gonna head back out here. I think the cemetery is even, everything here is just like crap. It's a, it's a very nice little walking area right there though. I wouldn't mind walking that. Come here, Dawson. Yep, I look. want a word with you. There's police. You're under arrest, Mr. Dawson. Come with me. Even though no oh, one saw you oh, do it. Uninviting place. I never thought I'd be. You gotta get that cup here. Now, here's the thing in this game. That pillow, you can put three things under that pillow. And only three things. And those three things will be sent to the dark world, and you can get them there. So you can hide your money. And you're going to want to put the bobby pin in. I can't remember. What the, yeah, the gloves and the bobby pin. That's the three things you got to have. Because the bobby pin, you give to somebody to get, like, an invisibility headband. So yeah, and if you didn't know to do that, well, you can't, you can't win this game. 
and you take the cup so that you can get the attention of the police officer and give him your get out of jail free card. So now you got to give him the, the card. There we go. A friend of Dilbert's, huh? Come with me, Dawson. This only works once, though, so you got to get the gun. Because for some odd reason, there's, you know, nobody here. So just take the gun off the wall. <laughs> I've always found that to be quite silly. They release you on your own recognizance. So we have now stolen a gun from the police. So we can use, uh, go up and down through our rope that we already put. Uh, you know, of course, if you didn't know to do that, once again, you're in trouble. So, so playing this game is very trial and error. Good to see you, Dawson. Follow me. Yep, there we go. Good to see you, Dawson. Come to my house. Just come through the bushes here. This must be the neighbor's yard. <laughs> yeah, the whole reason we have come here. Give him some scotch. We can see a few frames of animation. Watch the dog run away. I'm a drunk. Listen to me take all that out. Boy, that's smooth. Thanks for coming by, Mike. Thanks for literally having no conversation and watching me throw a stick to my dog. I'm gonna go pass out from drinking that entire bottle of scotch. I very well may be dead tomorrow, Mike. You might want to check on me. I have a serious problem. Even even Cedric the Owl didn't warn me about this one. Oh God, what's wrong with me? I drink too much. This game. <laughs> oh, here we go. Back to the Dark World. Boom. Because we have the stick now. Because there is a Dark World version of the dog. And it likes sticks. Let's get past the creatures cocooned in their sacks. Alright, here we go. So you take the stick. <laughs> you wish you could just shoot it. That'd be even more funny. Just shoot it right in the head. Of course, if you get too close to it, it kills you. Yeah, Wee! And monster dog is dead. So I always wonder if it's dead here. Is the did Delbert's dog just randomly die? Because <laughs> Delbert's sitting there, and the dog just goes. Pssst. of an alien jail. They could use a new decorator. So there that's we go. where my gun went. You're going to rot for a few centuries, human. 
How would your... Well, Alien I mean, technically... Yeah, here we go. So now we're in here. No one who enters here ever leaves alive. Well, that's why we put the stuff in the uh, pillow there, because for some odd reason, it worked. Yeah, you take back your belongings. I really don't need to take the pillow. I, I have really need the pillow. I have enough of them at home. So yeah, we picked the lock. A long quarter. You want to go over to this guy freedom. that's kind of sort of waving at you and give him the lock pick so he can escape. So you give Sargo the hairpin. He gives you the invisibility headband, which he warns will work only once. He's not kidding, and it's not doesn't last very long either. <laughs> they could use a new decorator in the alien gel. The sign over the doorway, if you could read it, would tell you this is the Dreketh Guards Recruitment Center. Okay, there's like baby heads and skulls. Yeah, here's where you need the headband. By the way, that was the barber shop in the other version. So, here we go. We can now walk through here and get past... Sackman there. I'm not sure what the hell that's supposed to be. You're in the great archive chamber. Many of the ancient secrets are available here for those who know how to access them. Access them. Just how do you access them? I can't reach the screen. Besides, it's not a touch screen. Greetings, Michael. I've been sending you messages over the radio. The ancients have implanted an alien embryo into your brain. If born, these creatures will destroy you and all of mankind. You must find the ancients' power source and Yeah, so here's our plot dump. Also, the police in your world are under the control of the ancients. Avoid them at all costs. Hurry, and good luck. The Keeper of the Scrolls has given you something. <laughs> By the way, the Keeper of the Scrolls, this is the library, if that hints you at anything. And you have to hurry. You have to get out of there while that's still working or that thing will get you. You don't. I don't really want to get got by that thing. So, I mean, I really do like this game. But as a kid, I definitely would, would have not have liked it. I mean, watching Frozen Foxy play it years ago, and I was like, oh, this is how you play this game. And then Prey watching their jokes on it. I mean, you know, obviously Prey has been gone for a long time, but I always felt like they were pretty funny. Their Dark Seed 2 thing is priceless, because the guy that they had do the long play just was so clueless. It just made it even more funny. Like, I think for years their Dark Seed 2 Let's Play was like the pinnacle of Let's Playing and, and doing it well. <laughs> Slow Beef and them did a great job. Alright, let's creep up our stairs. It's probably close to 10 o'clock. We probably should get some sleep. We might, you know, fall over dead. Yeah, we don't have our, uh... Oh, we got microfilm. That's what we got. That's right. Time to go sleepy. <laughs> I feel like sleeping. Yeah, by the way, I think I said it way early on in this video. This has been going on for a while, so I don't remember. Uh-oh. The trumpet pistons. Will they play the high note? Or will the baby become Mike Dawson? Look at that head. Uh oh. And Mike is gonna die. That's basically what it says. Mike, this is it. At the end of the day, that baby's coming, and you are dead. And it will bust out of your head. It's pretty gross. It's pretty cool. 
both my headache and these nightmares are getting so worse. So now again, we have to start the day the same way. Get a shower. Take our headache medicine. I actually also think the music in the DOS version is better than in the CD version. It's interesting that the police aren't waiting for us here, because a lot of the times when you walk out of the house this way, they're right there. So, at this point, at least as I can remember, I walked out and I kind of thought, well, I'm probably going to die, and they weren't there, and I was like, well, never mind, because I hadn't saved since... I didn't save that far back, it would have been a big deal to have died right there, but... Time to go through this unnaturally quiet town where no one lives except that barber cutting that same guy's hair. Sometimes you can get like a um, extra scene there where a dog goes and pees on the hydrant. <laughs> Let's go this way because this it's where the microfiche thing like is. It's seldom used. Turn on the reader and get your film. Yeah. It's talking about how to, like, someone will take, like, a hollow rock. It ba basically, it's like when you put your key somewhere. It's the keys to the car, by the way, that work, if I'm correct. And one of the stones in the Tuttle Cemetery, I believe, is hollow, and it's got a key in it. I know my old house, I had a rock in my in my garden that, not my garden, I never garden, my uh, landscaping, one of the rocks in it was hollow and it had an extra key in case anything happened. And here's the reason why you needed to keep the money, because guess what's back? The scotch. <laughs> and of course there is a wives tale about alcohol and cars and how they'll work. Serve yourself, Mr. Dawson. Get yourself some more scotch. That guy's probably thinking, he's been through a whole bottle of scotch in one day? What the hell's wrong with him? Oh, the doorbell. Another package. Oh, what is this? It's prepaid. Someone has given us a large stick. Well, eventually we'll get the other part of that, and that lets us win the game. One of the things that we have to do is make sure that they cannot get into the, the normal world anymore by breaking that mirror. But you have to do things specifically before you can do that. We are pretty close to the end. We actually haven't been in the kitchen yet. Oh yeah, it wasn't. I don't know what I was thinking. Duh, it's in your own basement. You go down and get the key out of the basement tile. I forgot about that. You can really see it right in the middle. The previous owner must have had some reason to do that. This guy drank more than Delver. But yeah, we got the loose rock. I don't know why I was thinking it was back in the Tuttle place. It was in our own place. There's a set of keys. Yeah, there's the car keys. Under the rock was a set of keys. I better not eat. Yeah, we haven't eaten in three days because they haven't. The cleaning lady hasn't come and disinfected the kitchen yet. I mean, they did do a good job with their limited color palette. I will give them that, but 
I think it would be amazing to think of this game if it had been allowed to have 256 callers. Mm, it's not for the pee 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 pee. Alright, let's go into the Dark World one last time. Blurp. Loading. Let's get let's get what we gotta get. We really need there's a we need the rest of that uh, we got that stick, but there's a part that goes with it to create a sledge, and that's what we need to get. I do believe we do not have that yet. So that's what we're going to look for, so that we can break the mirror. It smells like a hospital waiting room here. Ugh. That very d disinfected. Uh, oh, here's all the suspended animated uh, ancients waiting for their evil plan. Aiden's power source appears to be located in this chamber. Yes, yeah, stuck st stuff the, the rock in there. Energized and warm to the touch. Yeah, now we have our way to do our, to destroy. If you look, it had a hole. Yeah, we made a glowing hammer. So we are Thor now. So the flagstone absorbs the alien energies, hardening into an unimaginably dense material. Basically, that means that this hammer is like, can break anything. The, like, the glass to that would be like, unbreakable. But now you can. So now it's our job to get those aliens out of here and keep them from getting back into the light world here. I'm just about finished. We've made it. Like, success at this point is almost guaranteed, unless you would run out of time. One of the times I played through this game, when I was going to LP it years ago, I was doing a live commentary for it, and I got to this point, and I had saved over... Ah, stupid me, I'd only use like one save. And, because that's typical of me, if you if you watched our channel for any amount of time, even going back to when Anthony was doing a lot on it. I'm going to try to get him involved a little bit more when I get back towards Hurricane. Even if he can't come over, I'm going to try to find some time for him to uh, at least appear. And, because uh, he's one of my best friends. Like, Jamie Pappy, if you've been around a long time, he, he's the only person that's here where I'm at right now. And he doesn't like to do this stuff. He, he always kind of was there you know, in the early years, but... That wasn't his thing, so I don't really pester him with that. that. He doesn't like to do these things. But, you know, Anthony and Adam certainly mm -hmm. always did. Anything seen yeah. in the mirror, Anything seen in the mirror is not real. Only the Only mirror the itself mirror is, is, real. is real. Yeah, that obviously the mirror matters. They do try to give you hints, but a lot of the time they give you the hints too late to matter. down the ladder here. We're going to go back into the garage right here. There's the garage. But at least the lawn still doesn't need mowing. It never grows, apparently. So we are almost done, folks. That'll give my review. Get that scotch. Pour the scotch into the gas tank. All right, get the keys, and you can get the keys really anytime. The motor starts. The motor starts. And you can turn it like you can like turn the radio on because the battery. It tells you the battery still works. Basically, the only thing you needed was the keys. And you can listen to the radio for some hints from the keeper of the scrolls.
Now it's time. We're almost done. We gotta break, we gotta ruin their plans. What you doing? Nothing. Ruin my plans? No, not ruin the plans. Ruin the plans? Yes. I knew it. Oh, that's right, because, yeah, everything, all the, uh, the power sources are all working now because we turned on the car. Yeah, now we can go in here. This large room looks like a control center. And screw everything up. You gotta have the gloves. If you don't have the gloves... You'll die. You have just engaged the main engine startup sequence. Yeah. Get out of there. Zoop. There they go. Bye bye. One of the things this game it doesn't really have a whole lot of explanation for what it does. It doesn't ex talk it out or anything. You just kind of have to know. And take the hammer and break the glass. All right, we've done it. Librarian, should, yeah, there she is. I'm not really sure why I'm here. But I just felt drawn to you. I know it sounds strange, but what's even more strange is that I found these pills in my purse. It's a prescription filled in your name for relief of severe headaches. I'm just beginning to understand. Yeah, I'm just beginning to understand. And we're out of there. We're, we are not staying. But yeah, we've done it. We've stopped the headaches. We're not going to have an embryo explode out of our head. We've done it. We have beat the game. So, my review. <laughs> out of 10, I'd give this a 6. And that may be low. But a six isn't bad. Six out of ten? It's not bad. You know, should you play it once? Yeah. If you know how to play it. You know, but it's not really something that you go back and back and back to unless you're wanting to speed run it and see how quickly you can get through it. That might be something. Or randomizing it. This game might be fun to randomize. So, you know, things will be in different places. You still only have that short amount of time to get it. It's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta get it quick. So... This has been Chris from The Gaming Corner. I hope that you have enjoyed this Let's Play, and thank you for watching. Bye, everybody.